Okay, I'm sitting here with my co-pilot, I5 Kittle. Boom. And the Kittle and I are gonna show you how we do uh, shifting without a clutch. Uh, before we get driving, I'm sitting here with my truck off and I wanna explain a few things uh, quickly. Um, you should never, ever, ever have to force your shifter into a particular gear. If you ever have to push hard at all, you're doing something wrong, you are wrecking something somehow along the way. If you're sitting with your truck engine off, you should be able to find a gear. In this case, right now, it's, it's easily popping into third gear. And with the engine off, you should always be able to find a gear that it will just fall into. It's popping into third incredibly easily. Uh, fourth, it won't. Fifth, it pops into. So third and, and fifth right now, it's popping into quite easily. That gives you a, a, a kind of barometer or a feeling as to how hard you should have to pull to put it into gear when you're shifting without a clutch. If you're ever pulling harder than that, you are doing something wrong shifting without the clutch. Um, the other thing that I think people should understand uh, when shifting without a clutch is that you never actually let off on the throttle. Um, you only let off on the throttle enough so that the engine backs down to where it should be for the next gear engagement. Okay, Meaning, that's enough it, talking. It's enough talking? You want to get driving? Okay. Meaning if you're at 2000 RPM and your next gear is going to be 1500, you should only back off on the accelerator enough that the engine goes down to 1500. You never want to let go of the clutch because that's going to cause a jerkiness when you engage the next gear. So enough talking, let's get driving. We'll, uh, we'll go up and down through the gears a few times here and I'll try and explain what I'm doing as I'm going. Enough talking, isn't it, kiddo? Yeah. Let's get driving. Yeah. Let's get some air in here. Yeah, let's get some air in here. Okay. So this is a 10 speed, doesn't matter. The same concept applies whether it's a, a six. I see, I see you can't, can't see the truck anymore. Yeah. Doesn't matter whether it's a six speed, eight LL, nine LL, 10. 13, 15 speed, 18 speed, it's all the same. The same concept applies. So, uh, yeah, let's just get up here. Okay, turn. Signal? Yeah. Okay, we gotta turn the signal on. All right. We'll go up and down through the gears a few times here. So, when you start to go, you're on the throttle and I, start pressing lightly and as I back off the throttle it's gonna fall right out of gear so that's the first thing when you're shifting you just want to apply light pressure and as you let off the throttle it'll just fall out every time um, you do not have to push hard I'm pushing like with two fingers here and then let off the throttle, it's gonna drop down. I do not take my foot off the throttle. 1500, I'm gonna shift at about 1800 RPM, it'll go down to 1200. Every time, I do not let my foot off that throttle. I only back off the throttle. Let off. I only let that throttle drop down about 1500 RPM, or sorry, 500 RPM from where it was at. So 1800 to 1300. Light, light pressure off. I know I dropped down 500-ish RPM and it will just pop in as soon as you're at the right RPM. Not pulling hard. Actually, that one, I buggered up that one. I was on the face of the gear because I didn't get at the right RPM, but when I was on the face of the gear, I'm not pushing hard. And uh, if you find yourself at the face of the, of the gear where you can feel it trying to engage, but you're not at the right RPM, generally I'll, 
I'll kind of hold it there and I will sort of fiddle with the throttle until I find the right RPM. That one fell into place and we're talking two fingers here to shift. That's all you need. We got a tractor up here. Downshifting's sort of the same, but it's opposite. You obviously have your foot completely off the throttle, especially if you want uh, the engine brake to work. And uh, I generally downshift at about 1500 RPM. Um, slightly on the face of that gear that time. So, bit of throttle to pull it out, rev it up, it'll drop in. Again, if you're downshifting, you gotta rev up, in this case, 500 RPM. That should be fairly similar for almost every transmission. Um, if you're running a 13 or an 18 speed, it'll be a little bit less. Um, if, you're, if you're doing a split in gears. So we just go through the gears again, throttle off, base of the gear again, so I buggered up that shift. Buggered up that one as well, I gotta focus. I'm never, even if I screw up a shift, I never um, push hard on the shifter. I never push hard on the shifter. I haven't had a problem with the transmission yet in 15 years of driving uh, the same truck. So, <laughs> I guess I must be maybe doing something right. So, we're about to shift 9 to 10 here. I'm just going to put ever so slight light back pressure on. Let off the throttle, it'll fall out. As soon as I'm down that 1500 or 500-ish RPM, it'll fall back in to 10th and I can get back on the accelerator.
1500 RPM, rev it up. And we're going to put our bit of throttle to get us out, rev it up again, downshift. Bit of throttle, find the right match. That's for the other cars though, kiddo. But we can turn right now. Throttle, rub it up. No, it has to turn green. It has to turn green so we can go. Another thing that you could slightly practice would be if I put the truck in neutral here. Up here. So I'm in neutral here right now, totally neutral. If I rev it up to, we'll say 2000, you can practice just going from that to 1500. Another thing that's sort of practice for your driving here. Now, also, I don't know really what I'm in neutral, I'm in high range, I'm going to drop it down to low, and I'm going to pick third. So I'm on the face of the gear. Rev it up slightly until it falls into gear. Again, not pulling hard. And there we are. Okay. That's how we do some shifting without the clutch. <laughs>